make his pockets hurt. I made my own pockets hurt, actually. Okay, I still got my fall candle going. I got my orange, you know, top on. Inspired my, by my girl, Juicy Jazz, you know. But anyways, today we're going to do a Sephora haul and I'm really excited about it. The makeup that I have on right now is actually from a video that I am doing after this. So, will it be up already? If it's not up already, make sure you subscribe and turn on your post notifications so that you don't miss the video. But it was a video of me trying all the new makeup from Sephora, all the good things. So, without further ado, let's get into the haul. Um, If you don't have a shopping problem, don't come at me. You know what I mean? Like, that's really good for you, but I um, can't relate. So I think that we should start off with the most boring thing in the, in the beginning because um, we'll just go ahead and get that out of the way. I picked up this Brio Geo, oh my word. Anyway, it's the Brio Geo Strengthening Solutions set and it's the Don't Despair Repair um, line. I got this because it was like a good bundle. You get the huge, you know, jugs of hair things. And it was, you saved some money, okay? You saved some money buying the but. Oh my gosh, buying the bundle. So that's why I got it. Um, I haven't actually used it yet. So you might be like, Katie, is it good? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Don't look at me. Anyway, I picked this up. It was $62, a little pricey, a little pricey, but you do get the world's smallest samples inside. I actually do have that, that mask, um, but I feel like I haven't used it consistent, consistently enough to be able to like give you a uh, firm answer. So Okay, next thing I picked up is this Olive Paradise Self Tanning Butter. Um, I've actually already gone through, I think, two of these. So, this is my second or third one. Hard to say not knowing. Anyways, I use this. If you leave it on your hands and you don't wash your hands and you don't wash, like, all these areas. I do have calluses, so it kind of stains my calluses. Um, it will leave you looking crusty. It will leave you looking mm, orange. So, don't do that. I always use it on my body and I mix it in with oil. So, if you guys want, like, a updated tanning routine, I don't really use... It's so tight. I don't really use actual fake tanners like foaming self tanners anymore, but I will use these two to, th well, about two times a week mixed in with an oil um, just to keep up my color because I try not to go out in the sun and prematurely age my body or face. You know what I mean? So I've been using this. I do love this. I think it's moisturizing enough on its own. It doesn't have like the tanner smell per se, like the smell that you get whenever you use a foaming self tanner and you leave it on. It's like, mm -hmm, girl, you may not ever get that out of your sheets, you know, but it does leave like an odd tanning scent but I still really like this I actually like it a lot hence why I bought it mm, multiple times okay let's get into the makeup I know that's why y'all are here maybe it's not actually I don't know okay so I picked up quite a few foundations and I don't really know why because if you've watched my channel you know that I'm I don't really wear foundation mm, ever but um I picked up some new ones, some things that I've been loving, some things I wanted to try out, etc. So I figured I would show you guys those. I picked up, actually, I picked up five. So the first one is the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Perfect Glow Flawless Foundation. Um, if you don't live under a rock, you've probably heard of this foundation. Everyone and their mom has used it. Um, a lot of makeup artists deem it as their favorite foundation. It's actually what I have on my face today. Um, and that's what I use in the video trying out the new makeup from Sephora. So if you're interested in seeing what this looks like or literally just this foundation in general, you could type it into YouTube. And I'm sure there will be like thousands, potentially millions of videos of people talking just about this foundation. It's really nice. It is really pricey. Um, it's $64, but nevertheless really good foundation so I picked up and I picked it up in a new shade in the shade 7.8 which is olive undertone perfect for me next thing I picked up is this Dior backstage face and body foundation I actually used to use this all the time and if you saw my recent video using the MAC face and body I was like girl this is not my journey and then people were like you have to rub it in with your fingers well I don't want to rub it in with my fingers how about that you know what I mean so anyways I picked up this one. has a really nice finish. Another one of like a bunch of makeup artist favorites. So I was like, I better pick it up. And it's actually a really perfect color match for me. This is the shade 4 Warm Olive. Now, the shade selection for these is, dare I say horrible? Um, me and Caleb literally probably spent 10 minutes with, with a actual like Sephora Beauty Advisor there trying to figure out what color of this I would be because it's it's an oil tint, pretty much. It's a super serum skin tint. It has SPF 40. It's got squalene, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide, all the things. But you have to shake it like, like it's your full-time job. Like you were, are working 9 to 5 just to shake this foundation, okay? Um, it is a tint, but every time I pull it out, it just looks straight up orange. Full-on pumpkin, fall-time, pumpkin spice waffles, pumpkin spice latte, 
orange. Um, so it actually does match my body. I don't know how. If you're going to look for a color, I recommend going in the store and just rubbing them all over you until you find one that is similar to your skin tone. Uh, but I do love this, nevertheless. I love this, so I picked up in a darker shade because I had the shade Kokini, which was number 12, and this is the shade Kamari. Another one that I picked up, if you've watched any of my recent videos, you know that I have been loving this. This is the Huda Beauty Glowish um, multi dew Skin Tint, and it is stunning. It is really pretty. I like the packaging. I love everything about it. I love this, and I picked it up in the shade 7, which is tan light. Um, it's just cute, first of all. I love the packaging. I love it. I just think it's simple. It's cute. It's adorable. All the things. Um, so, yeah, there's that. And then I just, I really like the product itself. I actually got two samples from Sephora and used those and was like, this looks so good. So, I went ahead and bought the full size so I would have it. And I'm really glad that I did because I will probably be using that every day that I wear makeup. Um, I also got this basically for a video. I just want to test out some Pat McGrath products. If you watch the video after this of me trying um, some new products. I didn't use everything from Pat McGrath and I didn't use this foundation. But my girl let me down a little bit. She really did, especially for the price. But it's so luxurious. Like, just the experience of getting a Pat McGrath product is just luxurious, you know. But, like, it ought to be. It ought to be luxurious. So, this is the foundation. It is the Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Foundation. And I got mine in the shade Medium 18. This is what it looks like. A nice frosted bottle cap and then just like a sticker. Is that a sticker? Yeah, I guess it is. Um, it is really pretty, but it's also $70. So, you know, do with that information what you will. We'll see if it's good or not. Um, I oh, I picked up another foundation. I guess I picked up six foundations. Girl, who let me, who let me on that website? Um, this is the Shiseido Synchro Skin Radiant Lifting Foundation. Uh, they have another one that's called like Self Setting, but I picked up the, um, skin lifting, skin radiant lifting, because I don't care if you set yourself. Are you going to look radiant? Are you going to lift my skin? Are you going to make me look like a newborn fetus? You know, like those are the goals. And um, it has SPF 30. I don't really care about SPF in my foundations. Love the packaging that you just like can't pump it. Now you can. Congratulations. You know what I mean? It's cute. Um, very Shiseido of them, if I do say so myself. But then I also picked up the concealer. I don't understand this. Whenever I pulled it out, I did think it was a joke because it's so small. Um, and then here is the applicator, which I actually tried the applicator out and I do like it. I like the applicator a whole lot, a lot more than I thought I was going to. Um, but the concealer itself, Miss Girl, grow a bit. You know what I mean? It's time to mature. Have you not hit puberty? Anyways. And then the rest that I picked up, oh, actually, no, that's a lie. I got a Pat McGrath um, blush. This is the from the Divine Rose collection and this is in the shade Divine Rose. Uh, her blushes are kind of hard to open like to be honest with you. So this is the shade that I picked up like I said Divine Rose from that collection. Looks like this right her. So I got that and then I also the rest of the things that I got are eyeshadow and I'll move the, through those pretty quickly. So this is the Pat McGrath. What is this? I, I don't know how to pronounce any of this. Venus in Floors Luxe Quad in voyeuristic vixen girl just just say it you know like what are you trying to say what do you what are you trying to say some sort of vixen okay and it says pat mcgrath labs use without caution shade throwing and eye ecstasy may result with prolonged use i don't like that anyways the shades themselves are absolutely stunning the packaging feels really nice as it should let me remind you um but it looks like this really beautiful I like it a whole lot. It's really nice. Um, but I haven't used it yet. So then take my opinion with a grain of salt because it could be trash. I doubt that it is, but it could be. Um, I have to sneeze. So, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, the next thing I picked up is from Giorgio Almani again. This is the eye tint in the shade number. Is it in the shade nine? I guess it is in the shade nine. I thought it was number six. Turns out it was upside down. Um, anyway, it looks like this. I really like just like eye tints and stuff like this that comes with a little applicator like so because I feel like it's so easy to just swipe on, blow with your finger or something, and then skedaddle. Um, but this is $40, and I could have bought so many things with that $40, so I feel kind of conflicted about that. Um, yeah. Uh, anyway, bought that, though. Next thing I picked up is the Super Goop Broad Spectrum Sunscreen SPF 30 Shimmering Shade. 
And this is in the shade Sunset. I actually dug my finger into it thinking that it was going to be like a hard eyeshadow. It's not. Very much a moussey consistency. And I picked this up because of Amanda Z here on YouTube. She was talking about it and I was like, Miss Girl, I wouldn't want to try it. I mean, it kind of reminds me of Maybelline Bad to the Bronze if you ever use that as a wee young child or maybe you use it now. Actually, just kidding, you can't because they discontinued it. Um, but anyways, looks like this raw her. And it has SPF 30. And I was like, you know what? You don't think about having eye protection or like protection on your eyelids for SPF. So that's pretty nice. Pretty nice. And then I got this Patrick Ta Major Dimension Eyeshadow Palette, which I was really excited about. Um, just because the colors in it look fantastic. And I have tried it out a few times and I do really, really like it. If you haven't seen it yet, this is what, it, oh, the only thing is my shades fall out so easily. And like, I'm scared to tilt it up. Anyways, this is what it looks like. It's really, really pretty. The only downside to it is that the shades fall out and the fingerprints. That's annoying to me. I don't like being able to see fingerprints and I've cleaned it off so many times. All right, you guys, that is the last thing I picked up from Sephora. Your girl did some damage. I didn't mean to. Um, yes, I did. That's a complete and total lie. Anyways, though, I hope that you enjoyed the video um, at the sake of my bank account. If you did, it would really mean the whole entire world to me if you would subscribe and like the video. Okay, subscribe to the channel, like the video. Also, leave a comment down below because it throws my video into the algorithm. That is, okay, every time I say algorithm now or like think about the word, I always think about Space Jam 2. If you saw it, you know, algae rhythm. Truly one of the worst movies I've ever seen. It was tragically terrible. Um, but anyways, like and subscribe. I would appreciate it. Comment down below what you picked up from Sephora if you did recently or if you think I should pick something else up because, girl, I probably will. Okay, I probably will. Um, there is a new candle, not a new candle, a new fragrance called what's it called? Autumn Vibes from Replica, Mason Margiela's line. Smells fantastic. I'm definitely going to want to pick that up. And then Dirty Coconut by Byredo. I think it's Byredo. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's by Rado. Um, But I want to smell that first. So I need to try those out. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a fabulous day. I will have my brand linked down below as well as a list of the products that I purchased in case you want to purchase them for yourself. And then also um, make sure to stick around so you can see the video of me trying the products out and lots of other fun videos. So thank you. Have a fabulous day.